It is estimated that there may be as many as 1 billion biological specimens in natural history collections across the United States. These collections are the single largest source of information on biological diversity outside of nature itself. They are used to address important environmental and economic questions related to human health, climate change, agriculture, species discovery, species extinctions, rates of evolutionary change, and ecosystem services. The challenge is that the data in biodiversity collections are inaccessible to most potential users. To make them accessible, members of the collections community called for the digitization of specimens and associated data and the online dissemination of this digitized information. Digitization is the process of creating an electronic representation of text, images, recordings, or other information about specimens. With funding from the National Science Foundation, Integrated Digitized BioCollections is the coordinating center for the national digitization effort and a leading resource for digitized collections information. Digitized collection information includes data from specimen labels and catalogs, and may include high-quality images in other media files, genetic data, and field notes. Digitization is an essential step for increasing accessibility to information that is vital for understanding biological diversity. Digitization provides enhanced visibility and exposure to the value and content of scientific collections. Access provides increased opportunities for collaboration, workflow sharing, and understanding across the collection communities. iDigBio shares best practices and workflows to improve the efficiency and scalability of the digitization process. Shared workflows provide users with a basic sequence of tasks to follow as they create digital information that characterizes individual specimens. These workflows can be adapted to meet institutional needs based on collection type and available resources. Five primary task clusters have been identified as important components of the digitization process, but their order of completion may vary. Pre-digitization specimen curation and staging. Specimen curation and staging is typically the first step and is essential to efficient digitization. This step includes assigning a locally or globally unique identifier to each specimen or collection object. These identifiers are usually assigned before imaging and data capture to ensure that identifiers are attached to images and included in the electronic data record. Curation and staging has benefits that extend beyond the immediate needs of the digitization program. For example, collection managers have incentives to complete curatorial tasks such as updating nomenclature and taxonomic labels, reorganizing specimens, and selecting exemplars for digitization. Specimen image capture. Determining what to image is generally the first step in this stage and varies based on institution and collection type. Imaging requires significant specimen handling with increased potential for specimen damage. This consequence compels institutions to carefully train personnel and develop detailed written object handling and imaging protocols. For example, in addition to damage potential, technicians imaging objects must pay close attention to camera settings to ensure the quality of the images. This includes identifying and selecting appropriate digital imaging equipment, including camera, scanner, camera stand, and lighting or light box. It is also critical to define the image storage format, as well as the file naming and storage protocols. Specimen image processing. Image processing is the third step in the digitization workflow and involves the tasks performed on an image or group of images following specimen image capture. These tasks include quality control measures, such as examining images for obvious deficiencies, cropping, adjusting light levels, converting files, and saving files. Throughout the image processing stage, it is important to apply previously determined file naming and processing conventions to maintain consistent file names and numbers that link to specimen and database records. Electronic data capture. Depending on institutional protocol, electronic data capture can occur before, after, or synchronized with image capture. Electronic data capture involves entering labeled data into a database. As a minimum, these usually include taxonomic name, locality, collector, and date of collection. There are several methods that individual institutions use for data capture, the most common being keystroke entry. However, 
With the advancement of related technologies such as optical character recognition, or OCR, and voice recognition, there are additional options for increasing the efficiency of this task. In many cases, existing external or legacy data can be efficiently imported, resulting in large dataset acquisitions for a relatively small investment in time, especially when compared to keystroking. Georeferencing. Georeferencing is the process of transforming textual descriptions of geographical data into a pair of XY coordinates, often with an accompanying estimation of precision. Although digitization workflows often capture locality information from specimen or collecting event labels, these data, especially legacy data, generally do not contain geographical coordinates. Georeferencing requires specimen records, a facility with desktop GIS or online mapping software, and a general understanding of maps and mapping. A technician's familiarity of the region where the collection was made and the ability to recognize habitat signatures on aerial photographs increase efficiency and accuracy. The process of georeferencing biological and paleontological specimens should be treated as an essential part of digitization protocols. Although the order in which these five common task clusters are accomplished varies by institution and collection type, Detailed written protocols should guide every step of the digitization workflow. Protocols may be uniquely designed for a given institution and updated regularly to reflect emerging technologies and improved efficiencies. Ultimately, digitization of biodiversity specimens will increase accessibility for researchers, students, and other interested consumers worldwide through searchable online networks.